brothers and sisters in Christ. In this Mass, we include in our prayers the following intentions. Thanksgiving from Tulaylay family, Irma Llorico, Dodo and Lot Torres, Camille Arnaldo, Liban family, Colasito family, Jose Medellina, Cesar and Mila Lansangan, Aida Mineses and family, How family, Aurea Lamasan and family, Manolo and Mayra de los Santos, Estela Mohi, Jason Austria and family, Vilma Gutierrez, Joseph Jude Cabral, Jesus Asuan, and Villarais family. Special intentions for the Yocolacito, Camille Arnaldo, Michael, Diane, Lorraine Asis, Torres family, Cora Lopez, Bea Hasela, Irma Llorico, Mirla Clores, Chloe Lamasan, Wilfredo, Minda Malvar and family, Reynaldo Santos, Jojo Manalang, Maricon Manalang, and Ezekiel Miguel Comiso. And for the repose of the following souls, Luisita and Siria, Chiarico Alforja, Milagros and Cristino de Sena, Pasita, Jose and Eduardo Alvarez, Anita del Rosario, Andres Alvarez, Eli and Jesusa Estores, Jose Castillo, Teresita Corpus, Alberto, Conrado, Edgardo Dicena, Perry and Emmy Dicena, Lucas and Emilia Alforja, Josephine Morales, Brendalyn Inong, Melitona and Roman Aquino, Jose, Matilde and Cano, Aquino, Pedro and Porita Carion, Marieta and Federico Alforja, Antonio and Esperanza de Guzman, Alexander de Guzman, Noel and Angie Umali, Sensire Evacola, Andrea Castillo, Isabel, Edgar, Eli, Herminia, Eduardo, Ernesto, Angeles, Lorenzo, Nicolas, Eulogio Sr., Reynaldo, June, Roman, Anita, Carmen, George, Manuel, Zenaida, Amor, Jose, Nicolasa, Conrado Jr., Gloria, Dante, Crisostomo Sr., Melina, Solpicia, Mariano, Ponzi, Pedro, Teodora, Catalina, Tito, Liza, Remedios, Edgardo, Virgilio, Feliciana, Arnold, Vicente, Jaime, Fausta, Romeo, Faustino, Rafael, Lilia, Charlie, Biawa, Andres, Veronica, Rolando, Bobby, Paz, Augustina, Angel, Eduardo, Pilar, Leonor, Coronacion, Emma, Cleofe, Danilo, Glory, Gary, Jaime Sr., Teresita, Jesus, Aurelio Sr., Charlotte, Meliton, Candelaria, Lamberto, Ignacio, Gibiana, Richard, Elizabeth, Lourdes, Pedrito, Arnel, Arturo, Juan, Me, Him, Jimena, Expectacion, Felicissimo, Felixberto, Manuel, Luis, Sofia, Rizal, um, for all the souls for our dearly departed interred in Ushuary Garden and those enrolled in Mass Guard and for all poor souls in Purgatory. Today is the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and the theme of our celebration is Bringing the Light of the Gospel to Those in Darkness. It is also the World Mission Sunday.
Let us all stand and together we sing the entrance hymn as we welcome our priest presider, Monsignor Misolas. We In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Blessed be Jesus, the missionary of the Father. May his grace and peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we are about to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins, especially our lukewarmness in supporting our missionaries. God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Ah uh -huh. 
Ikaw na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan. Maawa ka, maawa ka sa amin. Ikaw na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan. Tanggapin mo ang aming kahilingan. Tanggapin mo ang aming kahilingan. Ikaw na nalulunglog sa kanan ng Ama, maawa ka, maawa ka sa Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord. Shout with joy for Jacob, exult at the head of the nations. Proclaim your praise and say, The Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them back from the land of the north. I will gather them from the ends of the world, with the blind and the lame in their midst, the mothers and those with child. They shall return as an immense throng. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water on a level road so that none shall stumble. For I am a father to Israel, Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter 
and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Although they, they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness, and so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself, as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise and together we honor the Holy Gospel. Jesus Christ destroyed death and brought life to life through his gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and his sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On, he, on, on hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. Many rebuked him, telling him to be silent, but he kept calling out all the more, son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So the blind man staying, saying to him, So take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. Bartimaeus threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me? To do for you. 
The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately, the man received his sight and followed Jesus on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is one aspect in the gospel today that I would like to underline. Well, of course, the central here is the blind man, son of Bartimius or Bar Bartimius. But I would like to underline here this uh, prayer of Bartimius. Because when he heard that uh, Jesus was entering, was passing by, because Jesus was on the way from Jericho, considered by the Jews as the cursed city, he was walking to Jerusalem and, uh, for his final destination. And here, Jesus in Jerusalem will, uh, of course, talked about and discuss uh, the things with the authorities there and that he will die. So this uh, moment that Jesus was passing by the road and Bartimius was there begging, there is a very important uh, act that Bartimius did. It was to cry out and uh, tell Jesus, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. So the son of Bartimius asking Jesus, the son of David, have pity on me. It is, a, it is a cry and it's a prayer of Bartimius. And because you know that in every prayer, there are always the you know, destruction, opposition. And uh, here we find many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. Uh, do, not, do not bother uh, Jesus anymore. You know, just be there and then you are begging and you have your, your life. Why bother Jesus? And you see, most of our prayers like this. Of course, we want to tell Jesus, but what is really important here in this cry, in this uh, petition, in this uh, request of uh, Bartimius, is that first he asked that Jesus to have pity on him. And then Jesus called him and said, and told him, and told him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. So this is a, a courageous act of a blind man. A prayer that perhaps many of us do not have that, that courage to. What is it that the blind man is, had the courage to ask Jesus? And we are also asked to, to do something about ourselves when in front of Jesus. It is the petition for a very important matter for his life. It is uh, asking for his, not only for survival, most of our prayers, when you say, try to examine, they are the prayers for us to survive. I want this. I want uh, uh, to be cured from this, 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 this sickness. I want to be saved from this. They are all uh, the kind of uh, prayer that is asking or alms giving from Jesus. Give me this. But that is the di difference with the prayer of Bartimius, because he was touching a very, very the central point of life. And sometimes we do not want to touch this. We did not have the courage to touch this. What is this? 
to be able to see what is the meaning of life. What is this? It is uh, not just for survival, but it is really a petition that, uh, you know, I, I want to have this. This is very important for me. This is, this is just the point that I would like to, to, to say. Very important. And most of the time, we do not have the courage to ask this. Or perhaps it is, uh, it is not that we have courage. Perhaps it, it just escapes our, our consciousness that there is something more important in us that we ask in order for Jesus to give it, give it to us. Most important. You know, our mind is uh, daily drugged by so many things, distraction. Perhaps you watch the television, perhaps you see this Netflix, and many people would, uh, would uh, still drug their mind, but not with drug, drug addiction, but with uh, some things that would keep their mind uh, light. What is that? It is that. It is just escaping. What is it that we really want? What is it? And I do not dare to, to tell you, this is it, this is what you want. Each one of us has to make this uh, insight, this decision, this is really what I want. This is the thing that makes my life really un, uh, unbearable, so to say. I just ask for, it is just like uh, asking alms giving from the Lord, give me this, give me that, but we have not touched the central need of our life. And if you see Bartimius, he touches into his life. When, when he was asked, what do you want from me? When Jesus asked him, Bartimius could have said, well, just give me some arms so that I can, I can go ahead with my life. I can survive. And you see, this is most of our prayers. We want to survive our daily uh, struggle with life. But Bartim, you said, Lord, I want to see. And he touched this very important part because now he would uh, already be part of, of uh, the community life. He would, not, he would no longer be uh, you see, marginalized. He now could see. But you will notice that uh, here, after, he said, immediately the man received his sight. Immediately the man received his sight. And the last words of our gospel today, and followed Jesus on the way. He did not care anymore to do you know, the small things that we do for our daily life. He has touched the most very important and he doesn't want to go back again. There is a very uh, meaningful uh, act here that Bartimius did when he threw aside his cloak. You know, this cloak is very poor, very symbolic. And it's very important also for a Jew to have this cloak because it is his cover for uh, if it becomes cold. It is part of the uh, apparel, so to say, the clothes of uh, an ordinary Jew. He is just a, a, is a poor person. He is a, a beggar. He is a blind man, but he has this cloak. And uh, <laughs> you see, what do you want? Blind man replied, Master. And Bartimius threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. What is this? It is just leaving behind the old, our old life. Because you have come to Jesus. Jesus is the center of the life. And you have the courage to ask him, what is it? that uh, we really need for our life. Of course, the pandemic, uh, some say that the pandemic taught them how to, to know what is the essential. But if Jesus would really tell us what we need, 
I think it's more than that. We need the eyes to see, the faith to be able to have this relationship with God. A very, very important part. Not just, uh, you see, I want to have relationship with God now and later no more. It does it's like this, no? Some piece by piece that we want to relate with God. Whereas here, Bartimius, throughout his whole life, symbolized by this cloak. And when he was cured, he followed Jesus on the way. No more small things that he has been doing, no more. I have received my sight, the most important part of me, and I want to follow Jesus. Please all stand. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven, heaven and earth, of all things visible, visible and, and invisible. invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came, he came down, down from, from heaven, heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. man. For our, our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I wait for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we celebrate the World Mission Sunday, let us turn our thoughts to all our brothers and sisters working on, in the missions and express our solidarity with them through our humble petitions. Let our response be, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the Catholic Church and its leaders, may they never lose sight of their vocation and preach the gospel to all nations. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all missionaries, may the Lord reward their dedication to bring the light of the gospel to all through numerous conversions and perseverance in good works. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all government officials, May they realize that with power comes the responsibility to serve the people with all integrity and dedication. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For our parish, may we truly be a caring community that witnesses to the love of God by sharing our resources and our faith with others, especially those in need. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all of us, may we never aspire for positions of authority in order to gain prestige, but only to serve our brothers and sisters in all humility and generosity. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our own personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, strengthen with your grace our missionaries, console them in their afflictions, and make them make their labors bear fruits of salvation for all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Our offerers are from the members of the El Shaddai. There will be a second collection later. Oh, God. 
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us your, the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin. So that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all these angels and saints, we too give you glory as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, sa amin ang kaharian mo sundin ang lobo ito sa lupa para sa langit bigyan mo po kami ngayon ang aming katkanin sa Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace, peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, I am not, not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Para po sa maayos na pagtanggap ng banal na komunyon, gagbayan po tayo ng ating Ministry of Ushers and Greeters patungo sa mga istasyon ng pakikinabang. Umpisahan po natin ang pila mula sa huling hanay, row by row. Pakiusap na lang po, pakisunod na lang po ang mga araw. Salamat po. Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above everything, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Do not allow me to be separated from you. Amen.
Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Saint Joseph. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. San Roque. San Lorenzo Ruiz. San Pedro Calunsod. Please all rise. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please all be seated for some announcement. Mayroon po tayong second collection for World Mission. Remittances will be forwarded to Rome to support the missionary. Ang motorcade ng Blessed Sacrament ay muling iikot sa susunod na linggo, October 31, 2021, sa ganap na kasyam ng umaga sa mga sumusunod na lugar na sakop ng clusters 3, 4, and 5. Apollo 3 Street, Beacon Place, Vanguard Proton, Soyuz, Titan, Nimbus Street East, Mercury Atlas Street, Apollo 4 Barangay Site, Apollo 4 No Name Club, Skynet Street, Veraville Townhomes 1, Vanguard Extension, Soyuz Extension, Luna Street, Ranger Street East, Secor Street, Apollo 4 Moonwalkers Club, Agrohomes 1 and 2, Vanguard Street, Stratus Street, Apollo 4 Street, Early Bird Street East, Iris Street East, and Echo Street. Ang mass intentions para sa mga kaluluwa ay hindi po muna natin babasahin sumula November 1 hanggang November 31. Ang envelopes para sa mga kaluluwa ay available sa MIP Office, Main Church, and Gift Shop. Maari na po ninyong ihulog ang mga sobre for the soul sa box na nakalagay sa harap ng altar. Mula sa October 30 hanggang November 2, ay close ang ating MIP Oshuary Garden. Ang mga misa sa November 1 and 2 ay ang sumusunod. 9 o'clock sa umaga, 4 o'clock in the afternoon at 6 o'clock in the evening dito sa main church. Ang book ni Father Fidel na Collection of Gospel Reflections, Pondering on the Journey to Unity, Volume 3, ay available na. Please get a copy at the parish office and at the gift shop for only 299 pesos only. Ang face-to-face -face mass health protocol ay katulad pa rin ng dati. Fully vaccinated, no symptoms of fever, cough or cold, edad 18 up to 65 years old, Mag-fill up ng contact tracing form at ihulog sa designated boxes sa simbahan. Umupo lamang sa maupuang may nakasulat na numero 
observe always physical distancing and bring your vaccination form. Maraming salamat po. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God make you ever more aware of the preciousness of the Catholic faith and of your duty to support its missionaries. Amen. Amen. May the Lord make you ever more sensitive to the needs of the missionaries and generous in offering them your help. Amen. May the Lord make you share in the blessings promised to those who forsake everything for the kingdom. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and be heralds of the gospel in your daily lives. Thanks be to God. participation in the Mass. Good evening.